I think mark making is great because it just is a way to get the creative blood flowing. Like athletes, like we need to stretch our muscles and we need to be able to stretch and explore and play. Sit down with a coffee or tea with my notebook, my, my Sharpie, and just go to town on my notebook without any worries. A lot of the marks you make are the, the beginning points to something wonderful. Patterns can be a lot of things. You can make patterns with words, you can make patterns with images. Um, there's something fun in the repetition of the whole thing. Patterns can be used on anything, you know, you can do you can do patterns in your notebook, you can do patterns on a wall, you can do patterns on a pillowcase if you want. I do a lot of lettering. I also like to write a lot and I like to use Sharpie to kind of put it out in its most immediate way. I love just to convey a message. I like it to be almost ugly in a way. I just, I want you to feel that someone did this by hand, that it's immediate, that there's some sort of meaning behind it all. Drawing words on objects can be a lot of fun because you can take something that might otherwise be meaningless and you can bring new life to it. You can take an object like a vase and maybe spray paint it, write something on it, or maybe draw, put flowers in it, and all of a sudden it creates new life. So for years, I've been drawing on little mini frames and giving them to people as gifts. It's a lot of fun. It can just act as a little gift, a little you know appreciation to this person. You can draw you know their name on it, or draw a little object, something that maybe they is an inside joke between the two of you. And when you can start to think about these things in these ways, that it's a process and it's not about the end results. It's about what's in between. You know, I think you approach it differently and you get a different taste from it all.